Welcome to all grade 11 under our ABM strands. Welcome to business math. So let us summarize our discussions in our previous videos, converting decimal to fraction in percent and vice versa. Now I have a table here. So the direction is complete the table by supplying the missing number. In our number one, 0 0.375, we're going to convert into fraction percent and so on. So our technique, study the table first. And then after studying the table, then try to answer the easiest number or the easiest problem here in our table. The easiest problem is percent to decimal because we're just going to move our decimal point to the left. Just like here, 125%. So we're just going to move two decimal places to the left. So our decimal is located here, that is understood. So 1, 2, going to the left. So in decimal, that is 1.25. Okay. Next, 2.4%. Move 2 to the left. So here is our decimal point. First, we need to locate. So move to the left, 1, 2. So that is 0 0.024. Again, let us repeat. 1, 2. So we have 0 here, then point zero twenty four. Next. Of course, decimal to percent. In decimal to percent, we're just going to move two decimal, this time going right. So example number one, two decimal going right, 1, 2. So that will become 37.5. Don't forget the percent symbol. Also here, 0 0.3333. Move two decimal going right, one, two. So that is 33.33%. Okay. Now, let us find in our first column point three seven five into fraction. So let's have our solution here. Okay, let, let's name it number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So copy three. 7, 5 over, we have three decimal places, so three zeros in our denominator, so that would be 1,000. Then, divisible by 125. So, 3, 7, 5 divided by 1, 2, 5, that is 3, over 1,000 divided by 125, that is so the fraction equivalent of 0 0.375 is 3 over 8. Next, number 2. 5 over 16. So 5 divided by 16. Cannot be. So we write our decimal point here. Then write 0. 50 divided by 16, so that is 3. 3 times 16, 48. Now let us subtract 50 minus 48, that is 2. So write 0, bring down 0. 20 divided by 16, that is 1. 
1 times 16, which is 16, subtract. So we have 20 minus 16, that is 4. 0, and write 0. 40 divided by 16, that is, so 2. 2 times 16, we have 32. Subtract. 40 minus 32, that is 8. Write 0, bring down 0. 80 divided by 16, that is 5. So 5 times 16, that is 80. Subtract, we have 0. So the des decimal equivalent is 0 0.3125. Now, write into percent. Move to decimal going right. So that is 31.25%. Number three. Number three. So copy 125. Two decimal places. Two decimal. Places, so two zeros in our denominator, that will become 100. Now, reduce into lowest term. Divisible by 25. So, 5 over 4. That will be the fraction form. 5 over 4. Next. I will erase 1, 2, and 3. Number 4. 4, 1 fifth. First, let us write into decimal. So that is 4 plus 1 over 5. So let us divide 1 divided by 5. Cannot be, so write decimal, then 0. So we have 10 divided by 5, so 2. 2 times 5, 10 subtract, that is 0. So the equivalent of 1 over 5 is 0 0.2. So that is 4 plus 0 0.2 will give us 4.3. So 4 one fifth in decimal is 4.3. Right into percent, so move twice, going right, that is 420%. Next, number five. Decimal going to fraction. So copy 3333 three, 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 three over, we have four decimal places, one, two, three, four. So 10,000. Now, is it divisible by three or any number? None. So this will be our final answer. Three, 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 three over 10,000. Okay, number six. Copy 24, we have three decimal places, so that will be 1,000 in our denominator. 24 and 1,000 are divisible by 8. So 8, 16, 24, so 3 over 1,000 divided by 8, so 1, 1 times 8, that is 8, subtract 2. Bring down 0, 20 divided by 8, that is 2, then we have 16, 4, bring down 0, 5, so 125. So that is 3 over 125. This will be our complete table. Okay, that's the connection of decimal, fraction, and percent. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.